Alright, hello everybody, it is, uh, Hi Kelly Trees here, I changed my name again because, uh, this is my main Steam account now, so this is what I'll be sticking with for a while, not planning on changing it, but, um, in this video I'm gonna be bringing you guys how to host an unturned 3.0 rocket server, um, I know I have a video for a rocket server already, I'm gonna take that one down and put this one back up because when I did that one, it was streaming quality, so it wasn't the best quality. So I'm going to redo this, and uh, hopefully this one's going to be better. I'm going to uh, maybe give some more information on stuff I didn't talk about in the last video. And All right, well, let's get started. So um, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and open up Google Chrome or your internet browser, whatever you're using, and type Steam CMD into Google. You'll see a Steam CMD Valve Developer Community page. You can go ahead and click that. Scroll down. Now, if you're on Windows, Linux, or Mac, go ahead and click whichever download. But I'm doing Windows, and if you're not on Windows, then it's going to be pretty hard to follow the instructions. And I don't think they make servers for Mac anyways. So, all right. Well, when you open up, when it finished downloading, and you open up the uh, Steam CMD folder itself. Uh, go ahead and copy this file, go into your documents, make a new folder, name that whatever you want your server to be named, I'm just going to name mine Rocket Server, and paste Steam CMD right in there. Go ahead and run Steam CMD. Now, we got to log in to your Steam account. Uh, to actually download a copy of Unturned. So to do that, you got to log in with your username and password. And now, I'm not going to show you guys my password, so I'm going to cut off the video. Okay, so what I want to show you here is uh, after you log in with your password, if you have Steam Guard on, it'll say Login Failure, Account Logon Denied. And then it'll say has been uh, not authenticated for your account using Steam Guard, so then it'll send you an email. Go ahead and type in your Steam Guard code. I just should enter a bunch of times so you wouldn't see my password, which is up here, but um, on your next available Steam line, type app underscore update 304930. And right now what it's doing is installing a new copy of Unturned. So while that's loading, you go back into your internet browser and type rocket mod Dot net. Um, from there, I'm going to hit Git Rocket, and I'm going to download Unturned for Windows. You got either uh, Windows or Linux, uh, but I'm doing Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and click I'm Not a Robot, and click Download. With this done, I'm going to open this, I'm going to copy all of these files, then I'm going to see if Steam CMD is done. Okay, it is not done yet, it's just doing all the workshop items, so this will take a little bit of time, but since it's only the workshop items it's installing, you can still go into your documents, your rocket server, Steam apps, common, unturned, uh, unturned data, manage, and copy those files right into your manage folder. With that done, you see you got a folder here. You can go ahead and exit out of this. Name scripts. My first rocket server, you want to create a shortcut, so you right click, hit create shortcut. Take this shortcut, drag it onto here, hit F2, and rename it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it rocket server. Um, then we're going to go ahead and run it. It'll ask you for uh, the Windows firewall. It'll say it has blocked some features. So if you go ahead and hit allow access, it'll be allowing it through your firewall, but not through your router. So we're, this video also is for port forwarding. I'm going to dumb that down so anybody can hopefully understand how to port forward. This goes for anything, not just unturned. Um, so with that done, you can go type shutdown, and now we gotta configure all the commands. So if you keep clicking back, it'll take you to 
your just your main unturned directory its servers this do not change the name of this or it'll be messed up uh, server commands and now some simple commands I'm gonna do name uh, it's just gonna be Kelly gaming YouTube test uh, the port is gonna be the standard steam port so 27015 then I'm going to max players 24 perspective is both in the map is PEI you can go ahead and save that and oops exit out um, you could exit out of this exit out of this and if you run rocket server all the ones that we typed in will successfully set wait for it to say uh, this uh, server will save every 1800 seconds then you can click shut down Ooh. okay now what you need to do is go to command prompt so click start and type CMD and then click enter and type IP config. You need your default gateway. Then you go back into your internet, type in your default gateway. Oops. And it'll ask you for a login. You may not get the same login screen, but most passwords, username and passwords are the same. The username is admin, password is admin, the username is usually an uppercase or lowercase and the password is either uh, password with lowercase p or admin with lowercase a if you don't know you can go ahead and type in on google what your default login information for your router is just type in your make and model and um, unless somebody changed it and you can get that information but if not then you're out of luck but um, with your information go ahead and click login Click advanced. It's going to be under advanced or firewall. Then advanced setup again. And port forwarding or port triggering. I'm just going to delete this service so I can start fresh. I'm going to hit add a custom service. Um, so I said that the standard uh, unturned port was um, 27015. So I'm going to set the service name. You can name it whatever you want. You're going to make sure the protocol is TCP and UDP. I know with the UVerse routers, you got to set TCP and UDP separately. So you're going to have two port, uh, two services opened. So unless it gives you an option for TCP, UDP, then check both of them. So the starting port is the port that we put into the commands folder, which is 27015. However, the ending port is three ports above that which is 27018. Now you need your IPv4 address, which mine is 192.168.1.3. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're, gives me the option to just type three at the end or my full address or however it asking you to put in your IP address. Then with that, you can just go ahead and click okay or apply. And you will see that it pops up right here. <clears throat> now, we're going to go ahead and test and see if your um, server is working. So, go to wherever you have your server, run it. You can always exit out of this first box. Otherwise, it's just going to open up too many things that you don't even want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and type unturned servers.net. <clears throat> then I'm gonna sign in if you if you don't already have an account with them if you do then you can just go click register server I'm not gonna register mine I'm just gonna test and show you guys that this is working but you guys might want to register if you're planning on keeping it up or whatever and want other people to join so my address well if you don't know what your server address is it's your public IP so to do to find that you just type in what's my IP into Google. I'm not going to show you guys my IP. So 
yeah, I'm going to use my uh, domain that I own, which is connected to my um, uh, public IP, which is kellygaming.ml, which is also my website. You guys can go there and get all the good information on stuff that's going to be coming up. And the port, which we specify was 27015. So with your unturned server up, go ahead and click Check Connection, and it'll come back as good. So they actually pinged your server from another computer testing to see if your server is actually up online. If you get it offline, go ahead and check and make sure that your ports are set properly in your router. And if not, you can leave a comment or email me. I'll put my email in the, in the description. Um, so now we're actually going to go into Unturned, and I'm going to show you some problems that you may encounter first time logging into your server. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and test that out. Yesterday this wouldn't cooperate with me. This is literally like my fifth time making this video because I've had pro nothing but problems, either that or people walking in. And well, it's just completely weird. All right, this is this t game takes the longest to log into Fallout 4, which uses so many more resources, loads in literally 10 seconds. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Kind of. <sighs> See what I mean? This game's a pain. I do like it, though. All right. Oops, you guys can't hear this fix this maybe you can but I can't um, okay, okay. <clears throat> oh no let me go ahead and restart this now so I can actually hear what's going on the struggle Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright. I'm going to try launching this through Steam. Play. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Oh my god. Maybe not. Oh, okay. So, ah, there we go, now I hear sound. Go click play, servers, local area network, and click your server. Now, if we encounter this problem, you won't be able to load in, which is what I thought. Uh, actually, you could see somebody joined in, so it's clearly port forwarded. Um, so... You can go ahead and type shut down. And you could exit out of unturned again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start unturned first. Before I open up the server. You, you shouldn't have to do this every time, only the first time, because it's got to register your authentication and stuff. 
Nobody else has this problem. Only the network you're hosting it from on the computers on that. So once your computer gets in to your server the first time, you'll be all good to go. <sighs> All right, so at the main menu, what you want to, what you're gonna want to do is hit Alt Tab, and uh, there's a little um, side thing right here. Just click that; it'll take you to your uh, desktop. Run the Rocket server, and when it says it's all up here in a minute. So the server will automatically save every 1800 seconds. Hit play, servers, local area network, and run it. Now, hopefully, it should log us in. And if not, we have to do one more thing. All right, and if that doesn't work, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is exit out of unturned and exit out of the server so you have nothing running go into steam uh... change user so you're logging out and then when it gives you the option go ahead and log back in Then start up unturned. And right now is a fine time while this is loading. Alt tab, click that little thing, start up your server. And all right. Normally it takes about three times of logging into the server to actually get in. So this one should be the winner. See, so, yep. Okay, so we're going into our server now. It takes, like I said, three times. It's weird. It's really weird. All right, so when we're in, you can notice you're not an admin yet because you still have a white box. Change that. You go into your server, just Alt-Tab, go in and type admin now your first word of your name or first few letters of your name if you're the only one in there then you can go ahead and then it'll click enter it'll say successfully admin and if you click enter now you have a blue bubble now I'm going to show you guys uh, if you're used to the vanilla server it's no longer at it is now a it's now a slash and there's a lot more shortcuts you could do, like if you want to give yourself something, like I'm going to give myself a grizzly, so that all I have to do is slash I-297, and it'll give me a grizzly. But if you want to give somebody else something, you have to do slash give, oop, slash give their name, but I'm just going to do my name, for example. It doesn't have to be their full name. Uh, slash the number, I'm going to give myself a scope for this, so that's 296 and then the quantity and then you can go ahead and click that and if you look I have a scope now to teleport so let's say you just want to teleport yourself you could do slash uh, TP wherever you want to go so I'm gonna do summer for the Summerside military base um, if you want to teleport somebody else you gotta do slash teleport their names I'm gonna do my name uh, and it's slash Really want to go, so I'm gonna do Char for Charlottetown, and it'll take me here. Now there's a couple more things you can do. You can do slash vanish, and you'll be completely invisible to all players on there except for zombies. But that goes away when you're inside of a car. But since you're an admin, I'm sure you don't want to die, so all you have to do is hit enter slash God, and you can't die. Alright, and um, real easy thing, let's say you got a bunch of zombies on you or whatever, and you gotta get away, 
all you gotta do is enter slash B63 and you'll drop yourself a vehicle. Let me get out way out of these zombies first. Okay, um, so let's say you want to give somebody else a vehicle. Uh, you gotta do slash vehicle. Their name. And whatever vehicle it is, I'm gonna give myself an APC. And then, you gave them a vehicle. So, it, it's pretty easy. Uh, learning the command to just I normally I have two screens so I normally just pull up all of the unturned item IDs on that screen and then I'll just look back and forth so that's how I learned a lot of the IDs and whatnot. Um, there is some other commands when it gets to uh, plugins and whatnot and coding. I will be adding more plugins to these servers or whatever. And when that time comes, I'll upload some videos so you guys know what you're doing too, because it can be a little bit confusing. Um, but um, let's say it's time to leave. You want to leave your server. Instead of just waiting 10 seconds to leave, all you got to do is slash kick. And you don't have to wait the 10 seconds. Oops, yeah, I can't be in a vehicle to do that. Um, let me get out. Slash kick. Oh, why... Why won't it kick me? Alright, I'll just I'll just wait the ten seconds. Normally you could just do slash kick and it's all good. Uh alright. So everybody I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh if you got any questions, like I said, I'll put my email in the description. You can go ahead and email me. Uh but thanks for watching.